Peace be with you if you're listening to me. It's not every day someone like myself um, gets to listen to any kind of conscious content on a mainstream platform. It doesn't frankly exist, especially if you deeply and truly connected to spiritualism as I am. In my spiritual awakening over two years ago, um, I started understanding who I am, understanding the world through just having a connection with self and source. I start, started understanding who I am as an empath, what I am as a, a spiritual being on this planet, my job with other human beings on this planet. And never have I ever quite listened to anything, again, finding it in the mainstream, that ever duplicated and vaguely matched and articulated what I went through up until the point where I listened to Kendrick Lamar's brand new album Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers see what that man was telling you is exactly what I've been going through Kendrick Lamar is an empath he was a born, born a sensitive man a sensitive human being with a highly sensitive gifted soul that started going through his phases and he's openly telling you he went through a spiritual awakening and these are the phases he went through which was remarkable for me to listen to if you listen to this album as a whole because if you're trying to understand what Kendrick went through you just have to go back home you just have to look within yourself, look at your family, look at your trauma on your mom's side, on your dad's side, understand what you come from, start questioning the culture, start questioning the, the, the pot plant that you were planted in and understand that a lot of what you went through is circumstantial identity and then you slowly and, and, and deeply understand what this man is putting in an album to you and offering for you. Each and every song is basically an empath reading with people who book sessions with me. See, I, I help people like what Kendrick went through. I, I've been doing this for two years. I'm a psychic medium, an empath. I'm a healer. I'm a master reader of patterns. I, I, I connect etherically to your ancestors, your spirit guides. And through me, they are vessel to help you understand yourself and build constructs to allow yourself to make this a paradise, not make this some... Um, self-inflicting reality of your low self-esteem that gets played out in the people you attract. This man literally has spoken about all the things I've been making videos about. Everything we as Kana Spirit Center stand for. It, he put it in an album, a masterpiece. He speaks about fasting. He speaks about dieting being a cultural thing and that's why so many people are dying of heart disease i did a reading a year ago saying collectively these are the things i've seen in people and this is what's killing people he speaks about um generational pain black families not talking he speaks about being conflicted bo being born the sensitive introverted male and no one confirming his gift his sensitivity who he is and then co-signing to a masculine energy that was predicted by the society and how it conflicted him because he knew he was different but no one around him was similar to that he did what his culture told him to do and then he became this and but deep down he felt like this isn't me he's blatantly telling you he's an empath he's telling you he's gifted he has bloody Eckhart Tolle quotes in the album. He's telling you about his shadow self. He's telling you there's a whole song about shadow work. Shadow work is what we preach in my, my readings, my teachings. I say this to people every single day when I do readings. I'm like, you have to go back to your younger self. You have to deal with the shadows. You have to deal with the pain. You can't ignore it and leave it just in one side and say, oh no, I'm going to deal with this with a, with, with, within due, due time. He blatantly says how he's connected to nature, how he's connected with his chakras. He, he's eating cleaner organically. He blatantly said he's not going to be doing, he's not, not going to do the vaccine. He's, he's questionable about it. 
If you misunderstand or you don't understand what Kendrick Lamar is going through, go book an empath reading. An empath reading and let a true healer help understand you better by talking to your higher self. And when he is a vessel for you or she's a vessel for you, you understand holistically what this man just put out on on record, on, on mainstream media. Every I can see as I read him basically everything he's going through and each song talks about the things we speak about. The toxic ego, both on the masculine and the feminine side and both just being hurt souls who don't understand each other but they attract each other and then they go through this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, never healing. That becoming the president to affect the next level, the new generation. And them getting lost in an insecurity of themselves. A total disconnection to understanding faith, intuition, wisdom, your own true understanding of things as opposed to a religious dogma that is inflicted on so many through Christianity or, or whatever religion you want to choose. There's a dogma, there's an opinion, there's an understanding, not an inner knowing. He speaks about this. He's blatantly putting it out there. And I can't be more proud of a fellow brother in consciousness, true consciousness, where we're not trying to act all prim and proper, I am thou, perfect. He lays his trauma, his skeletons, and he's like, there's my ego, boom. I'm not scared to advertise it for I don't take things personal. And taking things personal means that if I feel bad about negativity that influenced me because of what I brought, I'm holding it. But if I let it go and give it to you and tell you, here's my surrendering in telling you what I did, I feel no shame no more. Therefore, I can build in this empty space. This is the, this is not coded. This is blatant, blatant in your face. And when you listen to the songs that he's repeating, um, that will be repeated on radio, on it's going to be everywhere. Everybody's going to talk about this. I'm telling you now. It's a spiritual co collective consciousness that he's trying to inspire. You holistically listen to this album and you immediately go introspective into yourself and say, what about my life can I heal in the same way? And he's not telling you that he's the reason why you're going to be better. He's telling you it is the themes of his life, the awakening that hit him during that very important phase of COVID. He's saying that this is what I went through. This is who I turned to for help. And this is how I helped myself. I ate better. I became plant-based. It helped me understand. I started fasting. I started meditating. I started getting the clarity. I started building the chakras. He said he's seen things. He blatantly told you he saw his mother's mother, his grandmother who passed on, but she, he could see her. He tells you he listens to his spirit guides. Listen to the songs. This is what I've been preaching. This is what so many of us over so many years, different males, females, different colors, we've all been collectively talking about this collective consciousness and putting people out there and, and putting them onto this understanding that you all have this power to go through this shift. And there are people out there who can help you. They're not going to save you, but they can help you understand what's going on. And that's what I do. I do readings for people. I help you empathically understand who you truly are. I help you. And it's not even me. It's, it's God. It's spirit that works through me to help you. And this man put it in an album. Everything I do, he put it in an album, a masterpiece. He's like Michael Angelo. And he basically, to the listeners or the, to the people who've done readings with me, it's like taking all the things I write down in my book when we do a session and he made a song about everything we speak about that I try and help you with. So if you are on a spiritual journey, if you know you are different, if you're an empath, male or female, young or old, doesn't matter where you are in the world, go listen to that album and you will understand collective consciousness shifting movement moving away from unhealthy eating unhealthy dialogue unhealthy mental dialogue healing talking about the things in the family that has been making it broken for so long and not pretending like it's just these isolated things that we don't want to be involved in because this will pass down to the next generation he is saying it and i love that that kind of content is going to be on the radio 
giving me a reason to listen to the radio. It's going to be on the TV screens. I know, for example, that this message probably won't ever reach Kendrick. But if anyone knows him personally, if anyone ever gets to the point where this video reaches that, brother, you're going through exactly what I went through and so many others across this world are going through it too. The collective consciousness is something that's real and it's a movement to move human consciousness into that light body, to al align our crystalline structures to that which is higher. But we got to get rid of the gunk that is sitting within us and that's basically what he did. And he's urging you, as we all urge so many on this planet, to do the same. Get rid of the gunk. It's not yours. Don't take it personal. It's never meant to be yours. It is only there to help you understand who you are so you can attain that higher consciousness. Move into the fourth dimensional realms. Move into the fifth, the sixth dimensional realms. Let go of all these third dimensional identities and cultures and thoughts and patterns that hold us so much down to the ground. So I salute you and I see you. And I say namaste to your family and your your ancestral family, your spirit guides and your higher self. Because what you did is very brave and I know that it's going to come under a lot of scrutiny. But I know that the spiritual awakening is real. And the same voice that spoke to you to change your life is the same voice that spoke to me and so many of my clients and so many of my brothers and sisters who are on this path with me and with you and collectively together. It's the same voice that spoke to us. And it's the most beautiful, beautiful validation you can receive when it's so global on such a big scale and done so beautifully and eloquently and so proudly as a human, not trying to hold back anything, but trying to put out everything so that people can see. Vulnerability is what he expressed in words and music. And I hope that you, as a listener and as a fan of listening to his music, understand what phase he is in his life right now. And how you can achieve that own golden phase and that golden aura in yourselves by reaching out and getting that help or by just sitting with the sun in the morning and sitting and understanding and listening to yourself separate from all that pain and trauma that you surrounds you. Intuition is a powerful, powerful tool to help you go on that journey. And if you start listening to yourself and loving thyself and honoring thyself and being compassionate for what you went through and not judging thyself, you will understand everything he speaks of in that album. Namaste.